guys welcome to a special art supplies haul i'm back from my trip to thailand and i bought a lot of cool stuff i want to show you today and just as a little disclaimer i bought everything on my own so none of these products are sponsored i really had to hold back myself not buying anything i saw in the art stores it was like being in a paradise surrounded by super cheap and cute art supplies that wanted to come home with me but I really try to focus on markers I've never heard of, uh, Sharpies and of course Copic markers. But well, I obviously bought more stuff because why not? <laughs> One of these unknown markers are Sign Me. As you can see, they have a common fine and chisel nib. They smell a bit strong, like most inexpensive alcohol-based markers do. As far as I could research, the product comes from China and the producer MNG also provides Saimi watercolor pens with a brush nib. Maybe I also get the chance to get the watercolor pens next time. I will see. The colors are pretty and so far they look similar to the cap. But I always keep the opinion, the cap is a lie. So of course I was not disappointed. Sign me feels a bit too bold in my opinion, but what I like is the triangle shape. I like it more than the square shape of the classic Copic markers. The packaging feels good and it looks great. They don't look like cheap ones. I only wish the ink was more like, like a pastel color, because that's what I thought first when I saw the caps. But again, <laughs> the cap is a lie. Next marker is named Seikai. It made me pretty happy to see that there's no common fine and chisel nib combo like most markers have. Instead, they have a brush and a fine nib. I tried to do some research about these markers, but all results were in Thai language. So I guess they are made in Thailand. I only bought these three um, because there was not a great selection of colors and some were already dried out because you can open and test every marker in the B2S store. The application feels smooth and they seem just as pale as I hoped. So far I would say the cap is not a lie this time. A thing I don't really like is the way you put the cap on. Somehow I always hit the wrong side, maybe I'm dumb, but if I would use them for a whole artwork, it would annoy me to look at the pen every time to put on the cap. In my opinion, it's more convenient to put it on without looking and thinking about it. In turn, I really like the grip, so the pen won't slip away so easily and somehow I think it supports the wrist. What's funny about them? Have you seen that it's not called twin tip on the pen? <laughs> what is a twin trip? <laughs> I was always excited to try out the Sharpie markers. Each Sharpie cost 20 Thai baht, which is about 51 euro cent. And I got them with a special offer like buy five and pay four. So I couldn't really resist. I bought only four Sharpies with a double nib. The rest of them only have a bullet nib. Most of you know them and requested an art challenge with these pens, but I never saw them being sold in Germany. The colors are pretty intense and it feels like drawing with a board marker, so I'm not sure if I would be able to make a proper artwork with them, but it would be an interesting experience, I guess. Of course, I also couldn't resist to buy this pretty bronze sharpie because I really like this metallic look and I bet it would be great to set some details with it. Besides all these markers, I also bought some micron pens in different colors. I guess most of you will know how the microns look like, so I will skip the explaining part of it. So what I like about microns, they are not that expensive and pretty high pigmented. 
In my opinion, they are way better than the Copic Multi Liner. I can really recommend to use them if you like to draw with pigment liners that are suitable with alcohol based markers. Of course, I also couldn't go without taking some brush pens with me. It's the first time I'm using the Koi brush markers, which are from the same brand as the Micron pens, which is Sakura. The ink is pretty black, the nib is a smooth felt tip. As you might know if you're following me on Instagram, I really love using brush pens in my sketchbook. Let's continue with outline. Outline pens are water based, but water resistant pigment liners, so once it's dried, you can use watercolors or markers without smearing the line work. As far as I know, there are two types of these pencil pens. One has a soft and the other one has a hard nib. Of course I got the hard ones, so that means I cannot paint smooth dynamic lines like with the Koi brush pen, as you can see. Pentel has a great deep black ink as well. But next time I would rather like to buy the one with the soft nib. The brush pens from Baok got super smooth felt tip nibs as well as the Koi brush pen, but they are not that high pigmented. It looks a bit like the black is fading, which is kind of sad in my opinion. These pens are called Monami Plus Pen and they only cost 10 Thai baht, which is about uh, 25 cents. I think they could be nice for making line arts and sketching and they were so cheap, I just had to buy them. The Monami pens have thin and hard nibs, so the line work is pretty thin. There are no information about the ink on the pen itself, but I looked for it on Google and found out that the ink is water based. And I bought these funny looking cute pens. Some of them are just common blue gel pens and mechanical pens and that's it. Okay, alright, I almost forgot to show you the little writing set with the cute Miffy bunny, but it's nothing special, just a set with a mechanical pencil, gel pen and an eraser. So what else have I bought? This interesting ergonomic thingy that helps to get a better writing posture and might prevent tenosynovitis when drawing or writing in a longer session due to the ergonomic and soft material. So you put less pressure on your wrist. It feels a bit strange and I don't know small. It really might be more for kids to get a better writing posture. Maybe someone can read and translate this. Is there any important information? I don't know. These are similar to what I have just showed you. Ergonomic foam grips so you can just slip it over your pencil and it feels more comfortable for longer drawing sessions because pencils are pretty thin and it's better for the posture. So this is the rest of my B2S art supply haul besides the books which I will show you later. So now I want to show you my best purchase in my life. The cheapest Copic sketch markers I have ever bought. I just found the store randomly as we visited Thailand's biggest shopping plaza called Central World. I saw a big roll up banner with Copic on it and all these wonderful drawings of different fans and artists. So I went in and then I saw them. At first I was just curious about the price, if they're cheaper or not. So I stand in front of the little shelf with only sketch markers and various ink on it. And I remember when I told to myself, month before having our trip, to start buying more sketch markers for the future, because they hold more ink and are more comfortable. Plus, there are more different colors available. So the price per marker was 125 Thai baht. My boyfriend already calculated the price in Euro and I was so shocked as he told me the price. 3 Euro and 20 cents and about 5 euro for each various ink. I bet most of you know what happened in my head. The prophecy is true. So 
so in euro I only paid 67 and 34 euro for 21 markers. Let me calculate the price of the same amount of markers if I would buy them in my favorite German art store for Copic markers. So normally I would pay for the same amount of Copic markers 110 euro and 88 cents. So I made a saving of 40%. As a true Copic lover, the cheap price was almost too much to handle, especially as the price for Copic went up this year. So you will know how happy I was that day. I put the address to the store in the description box down below. So in case you're going to visit Bangkok, you will find the store and its super friendly owners. I really had the feeling that they are also pretty supportive to young artists, but I was so, oh my gosh, Copic markers that I couldn't really talk. Not that I'm fluent in Thai language. So okay, after showing you the best purchase of my life, let's head on to the art books I bought. One of them is about traditional Thai art and the other two books about watercolor techniques. It's my second book about traditional Thai art and I really want this to influence my art style. Obviously, I can't read a thing, it's a bit sad. My first book about this has an English translation, but I would just learn to read it. Seriously, I really need to learn that language. So hands up if you're half Thai like me and you just speak a little bit or nothing. <laughs> As you can see, this book is mainly about flora and fauna and mythical creatures. The next book is so cute and I'm sure it explains a lot of things well, if I could read it. But based on the pictures, it looks great. Most pages are printed on watercolor paper, so I guess you can practice directly on the paper, but, but it would be a pity if I would spoil these pages. As you can see, it's all about flora and fauna again, and there are two more books of the series about urban surroundings and food, I guess. Maybe I will get them next time. Look at all these beautiful illustrations. In this book, they explained a lot more about techniques and how to color different items. But what really made me want to get this book was the way they colored the succulent. It makes me feel like I want to practice watercolor techniques more seriously. I love every page of it and especially that layout and that's what my inner graphic designer says. Each of these watercolor books cost 220 Thai baht, which is about 5 euro and 64 cents, which is pretty inexpensive for this quality. You can find the publishing company on Facebook. They provide various kinds of art-based books. Seeing their Facebook page really made me want to get all of these books. For these three books and the art supplies, except the Copic markers, I paid 2,850 Thai baht, which is in euro, 73 euro and 12 cents. So in case you will ever visit Samut Prakan, here's the address of the B2S store where I bought all this. I will put also all this information in the description box down below, so you don't need to stop this video and write the address down. And I'm pretty excited to test all these items soon. Would you like to see me doing some challenges with some of these supplies or something else? Just let me know in the comments so I know what kind of videos you would like to see on my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video even I was not drawing a single thing. Thank you so much for watching and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!